Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management. As we've added more and more functionality to Analysis Workspace over the past several months, we've started to receive requests from many of you to limit your users to just Analysis Workspace. With that ability to curate and share projects, you're able to meet your users' needs um, without them needing to learn about uh, reports and analytics and navigate the the hundreds of reports that are, are in there. And so with the June 2016 release uh, for Adobe Analytics, we've made it possible for you to restrict access to reports and analytics, essentially making it uh, so that users can only use Analysis Workspace and other tools like Report Builder and Ad Hoc Analysis that you may have given them access to. The way to do this, if you're an admin, you have to be an admin to, to um, control this for your for your company but the way to do it is to go to admin and then user management and then if we go under groups um, you will see that there is a new built-in group called reports and analytics access now uh, as of the release of this feature all of your users will be included in the reports and analytics access group so nothing will change uh, on this on on the the day of this um, feature release, however, uh, as your company adopts analysis workspace and and um, hopefully finds that it 's meeting more and more of your analysis needs, you can come in here and edit the group uh, and if I wanted to start taking a handful of these users and restricting that access, um, I could do that just by removing them from this group. Uh, and in fact, you know, maybe I'll. This is this is uh, uh, this is my user that I'm logged in as, and so maybe I want to keep access, but I want to um, want to take everyone else out, so I can just select all of these. And looks like I missed some. Uh, and then uh, we would be good to go, and I could save that. And I'm not actually going to do that. Uh, I'm going to leave everyone in the group. But uh, what that would mean is that the next time those users log into Adobe Analytics they would not have this reports option. They would be defaulted to Analysis Workspace. That's what they would see when they log in. Uh, this reports option would not appear in the menu. Um, access to other tools like re uh, Report Builder, Ad Hoc Analysis, Activity Map, etc., would not be impacted. Uh, and so your users would continue to be able to access those tools um, as they had uh, in the past. The only thing that they would not be able to do is use the web UI uh, for reports and analytics and um, you know, again, this gives you, uh, as an analyst, a little more control because you're able to curate and share projects with them that are, are really targeted to their needs rather than um, having them have to log into uh, to reports and analytics and find the report that uh, is relevant to them. So uh, hopefully uh, now or in the future, this gives you a way to, um, to better control permissions and um, help your users adopt the power of analysis workspace um, in the future.